What do you attribute the, the, the labor shortage to? You know, it started right before COVID. Uh, we were experiencing some shortage of staff right before COVID hit. And, um, and then once COVID hit, it was just, it was just devastating. And we worked really hard to make sure that we took care of our employees. We um, paid them while we were off the nine weeks, while we were shut down for the nine weeks. And um, we paid them their benefits and their wages um, to make sure that we took care of them and that we were ensured that they would come back. And most of them did. Some of them we did lose. Um, and then since then, we've been challenged to try to um, maintain our business. Um, we've had to seriously look at other, um, just really think outside the box in regards to what is most important, and that is our gaming floor. And there were times to where we had to close off the hotel wing because we didn't have enough housekeepers. We had to uh, change schedules for our restaurants. Wow. Um, when we were open on Wednesdays, when uh, our steakhouse, we didn't open until Thursday. And we opened later and changed hours in our deli. We've had to kind of juggle with staffing, with what staff we had, and um, and really think outside the box and, and not freak out. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's really interesting. So, so really, you've had to keep an eye on the you know, the profit centers and the, you know, the things that are really kind of driving revenue, it sounds like, and then make sure that from a strategic perspective, you're allocating the staff there. And, and in, some, in, in a lot of cases, it sounds like you've had to, had to, to keep certain areas closed. Yes, definitely. And as far as what contributed towards that, I think there definitely is a mi different mindset for um, employees. Um, you know, I think the stimulus checks, they were able, some of them were able to, you know, stay at home and daycare has been challenging. So um, mm -hmm. looking at the expenses, um, some of them, it was more beneficial for them just to stay at home. And, and then they found that there's choices, you know, they wanted to make different choices. They were more prone to step outside and look for other things to do or other, other um, careers or other paths to follow. Yeah. So do you, see the um, the labor challenges persisting for the next, you know, year, two years, forever? Like, what, what do you see on that? Um, yes, I do think they will be a, a, a constant challenge. Mm -hmm. And um, we're trying to definitely look at what we can do. Um, as I said, think outside the box, looking at our own process, as far as recruiting, hiring, onboarding, retention, all of those we've been looking at much more diligently and and finding that there are ways that we can become better and more efficient in those processes. Um, also, uh, really looking at, as I said, uh, our schedules and um, our high volume times and um, asking our management supervisors to really look at those schedules um, and be careful as far as um, who they're hiring, where they're putting them, cross-training, all of those mm. um, different processes. 